Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about .NET 8 new randomness methods. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Right, with .NET 8 new methods were introduced for working with randomness. So first example is random.share.getItems method. The system.randomGetItems uh, method allows you to randomly choose a specified amount of items from an input set. So in previous .NET version to achieve this we could do something like this. But now with .NET 8, we can make use of the getItems method, which makes it much easier. So here's the example. In this code, there is an example of what happens when executing getItems method. So in this line 1, there is an array of names. Line 2, it prints the array with all the names. On line 4 here, the getItems method is executed receiving as parameters the array of names and the amount of names to be selected. This method will return an array with two randomly selected items from the input array. So on line number 5, you will see the selected names are printed. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just 3 months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Okay, now when I run this application in the output, we can see the names and the selected name. So the next random method is random.share.shuffle method. The random.share.shuffle method allows you to shuffle elements in an array or span without creating a new array or span. Instead, is only going to reorganize the items. So in a previous .NET version to achieve this we could do something like this. Or also use the Fisher Yates algorithm also known as the nut shuffle which is an algorithm for randomly shuffling, shuffling the elements of an array. So here's example. But now with the .NET 8 we can make use of the shuffle method which makes it much easier. So here's example. I have created an example of what happens when executing this shuffle method. So I'm going to run this application. It says numbers before shuffling. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and numbers after shuffling is this. You have seen that. So on line number 3 you can see the arrays of numbers created. On line number 4 you can see the array value is printed. On line number 6, you can see the shuffle numbers are printed. So the output we have before shuffling and after shuffling. Alright, the next random method is random number generator. The random number generator was already present in previous .NET version but was extended in .NET 8 with the getString method. The random number generator comes from the namespace system.security.cryptography and it creates cryptographically strong random values. This class is preferable to be used when dealing with sensitive data. It is a bit slower than system.random. There is a range of methods available in this class. So, so in this example, you can check the getString method. The getString method receives a string and is a string length as a parameters and uses this input string to create a new string with the specified length. It creates a string populated with random characters chosen based on the input with the specified length. So this is the code where happens when executing the getString method. So on line number four, you can see the get string method executed and receives a string and a string length as a parameter. On line number 5, you can see the result is printed. So let's see when we run this application, what is the output. So in the output, we can see the cryptographic secure string that was created. So here's example. So thank you for watching this video. The method from system.random.share provide useful functionality in a performative way, saving you from having to write your own methods to randomly shuffle or randomly select values. And the method from system.security.cryptography 
uh, random number generator can also be used to generate cryptographic secure values. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.